Huzzah! I'm Spider, and welcome to the Jax Rangers and New England Free Jacks podcast. And here is your host, Phil Harris. Yeah! Huzzah, Rangers. This is Phil Harris again here at the Jax Rangers show. I've got a very special guest here. This is the second round pick of the Free Jacks. Anthony, uh, Anthony Adamchak is here with us. Anthony, how the hell are you? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself, Phil? Not too bad, man. Uh, so Anthony was the second, uh, excuse me, second round pick. He was the 21st overall um, in this year's MLR draft by our New England Free Jacks. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Newtown, Connecticut. Lived there uh, for most of my life. Right. So is that closer to Rhode Island or New York State? Uh, New York. It's uh, very top of Fairfield County. So you would consider yourself a New Englander, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> right on. Life now. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> what is your origin story with rugby? Um, how did you find rugby? Yeah, so uh, hockey was my main sport my whole life, even until junior year of high school. But uh, my dad just said, you need a second sport. Uh, my freshman year of high school and all my friends at the time played rugby. So I figured, why not? Found out I could have the ball in my hand quite a bit, and uh, that was it. <laughs> uh, so the Eagle has kind of a similar story where he was a big hockey guy um, from Connecticut as well. I think he played high school in Rhode Island or something like that. But, um, yeah, he was a big hockey guy and then got into rugby later on in life. Um, what was your college nickname? Uh, so I had two. When I first got to school, they called me Big Tony. I'd gone by Anthony my whole life. and. Right. Uh, Robbie Armescu, he's actually a, a hooker on uh, Rooney, told told me that my name was was Big Tony, and I didn't didn't really have a choice, and that stuck until my junior year, until I lost about twenty five pounds, and I announced myself as T Mobile, and luckily it stuck. <laughs> Very nice. That's the cell service that I use. So, all right, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll be able to easily remember that one. Five uh, weeks to come in your way. <laughs> All right, tell us about the college recruitment process for you. How did you end up choosing Penn State? Um, so when I was a high school rugby player, recruitment kind of just meant you went to different rugby camps around the country hoping to get picked up because getting good film for high school rugby in Connecticut was, like, impossible. So uh, just going to camps as much as possible, hoping to gain, gain some attention. Uh, luckily, Penn State, I was able to catch their eye, and uh, they, they gave me an unbelievable opportunity to go to school. Very nice. Back in my day, it was just like simply looking on school's websites to find the email address of the uh, the college coach and then just emailing them saying, I play rugby. Can can I can you help me out? <laughs> that was very fun. I definitely spammed a lot of coaches telling them I was their next prop. Uh, right. Not all of them replied to me, but. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, give me three words to describe how you play rugby. Okay. Um, I, I'd say grit. Grit's definitely number one. I think every prop needs that, getting down and dirty. Uh, bulldozer. I like that. Just every part of the game running people over. I think I got quite a bit of work before I'm running any MLR players over. Mm -hmm. But um, and then uh, probably composure. Okay. I, I, I pride myself on staying calm. You know, it's a long game. A lot can happen. Anything can switch momentum. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'm kind of just too out of breath to lose my emo or to <laughs> lose control of my emotions out there. So that may help me there. <laughs> right, absolutely. Um, I'll tell you, grit is big in New England. You know, I mean, I'm sure you know that as a New Englander, it's 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 huge. So um, having that in our team, uh, having that displayed, is, is big for New England fans. So that they're going to really appreciate that for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What does it mean to you to be a New Englander? Speaking of grit, that, that, that's an interesting question because I I do consider myself a New Englander. Um, I've always been fascinated by the history because, you know, if, if you think about it, it's founded by these people who, who came here looking for something better, told the king, go get lost, won a war, started the, you know, like the U.S. of A. And I, I know if that's what New Englanders are made of, for me, there's no wonder why you, you hear New England today and a lot of people think of Boston, the city of champions. You know, that's what champions are made of. Yep, that's true. All right. Uh, what was your draft night like for you? What was uh, your, was there a draft party? Uh, what was going through your mind when you were selected? Uh, there was no draft party. I, I actually didn't think I was going to be getting a call for anyone. Wow. Um, I was just watching with my girlfriend and her family on vacation uh, just because I, I thought a ton of my buddies from Penn State were going to get drafted. I wanted, didn't want to miss that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and the stream actually went out on FS2. I didn't know it was going over the rugby network. And uh, some of my buddies from Penn State who are seniors now called me. 
And they said, and they texted me, said, congrats on New England. And before I could reply, they had FaceTimed me and there was a big viewing party of all the rugby guys back at school. Oh, wow. They were going nuts. And then one of my buddies, Christian Alvarez, went right after me to uh, NOLA. Mm -hmm. So they started going crazy. And I had to tell them to shut up just to tell me what happened. <laughs> That's when they told me I'd gotten drafted, and I had to call my parents and told them to log on to the rugby network. And uh, it was it was it was pretty hectic. And then I got the call from uh, from Tom Kinley and uh, made it official, and uh, it felt pretty good from there on. But yeah, That's no awesome. draft party, no expectations. Wow, just rooting on what. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Zach, who was the third round pick, had a, a similar story where he was having issues with the rugby network, so he didn't find out when he was actually drafted in real time. People were like blowing him up on the phone, like you got drafted. He's like, "What? What <laughs> happened?" Yeah, so he's like, "What city am I going to?" Yeah, pretty yeah, wild. I, I wish I was good enough to have a, a, a draft party planned or whatnot, but like I said, I really didn't expect much. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, uh, what are you most looking forward to in terms of joining the Free Jacks and moving up to Boston? Uh, so I actually moved to Boston August first. Moved to or not Boston? I live in Somerville now. Right. Um, so uh, I, I love being up here already, but in terms of being part of the Free Jacks, I kind of think of this as uh, like a do-over of my freshman year at Penn State Rugby. And that was one of the best times in my life because every week I was just trying to soak up so much and, and uh, grow so much as a person and as a player, yep. trying to make a name for myself each week, trying to make that next roster. And uh, that, that was just an unbelievable time in my life. And to be able to do it as a, as a professional athlete is – Absolute dream come true. Absolutely. That's so cool. Um, Penn State had more than yourself drafted. I think you were mentioning one of your uh, teammates there that went directly after you. What is in the water there in, uh, what is it, college town? Uh, uh, State College. There you go. There you go. Uh, what, what's going on there? How is that becoming a big rug, rugby program? I think Penn State's always been a, a, a pretty elite rugby pro program. I think as of the past five, six years, it's definitely become uh, – I, I think one of the premier schools, I think that started with James Willicks, who I think Free Jacks fans will, will be pretty uh, familiar with. And then it was carried by and, and really taken over by Justin Hunley. Um, he took over right before training camp my freshman year. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's completely turned the culture around from a social club that is pretty good at rugby uh, to an elite group of young men who are, are doing some, some really awesome things in terms of the game of rugby. So uh, Very cool. Definitely kudos to Justin Hunley. Nice. All right. Um, tell me about what you excel on the pitch and what you need to polish, you know, becoming a professional rugby player. Oof. I, I think first thing that comes to mind is trying, trying to be that bulldozer. That means some size. I, I need to get back in that weight room and put a lot, whole, whole lot of mass bulk on. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely think the defensive part of my game is something I've always wanted to improve upon every day is just making sure I'm that person delivering those, those, uh, those, big hits, you know, knocking people on their butts. Uh, and then the scrum. I love scrumming, so just always trying to get better. Can't wait to learn tricks from guys who have uh, been playing who know so much more than me. So mm -hmm. scrumming, tackling, and, uh, yeah, that'll do. Very cool. Other than the Free Jacks, what other professional sports teams do you support? And don't say any New York teams. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I won't. So my, my, both my parents are from Detroit, so I'm a big Detroit sports fan. Okay, right on. Uh, been a uh, Sydney Crosby fan for hockey, big Penguins fan. Okay, very nice. That's not too bad. I mean, no real rivals there for the the New England teams. Yeah. Um, so I want to I want to give the opportunity to open the floor up to you for any type of message that you have to Free Jacks fans all over the world. Uh, what do you got to say? Uh, I'll keep it pretty short and sweet. Um, I've, I've wanted to be a professional athlete my entire life, so even getting drafted was was a dream come true, and. Uh, I won't stop until I'm the best. That's just the way I was raised. Um, that's that's what's in me. And uh, I, I know I got a lot, a lot of work to do, but I've never been more excited to be challenged and to grow as a person and uh, as a member of the Free Jacks organization. Cool. So we've got one more thing here before we get you out of here. One word association. So I'm going to say one word or a couple of words here. And I just want you to tell me the first thing that comes to mind. <clears throat> so Penn State. Big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, MLR. Electric. All right. Free Jacks. Ooh. 
Let's go with uh, power. All right. Boston. Champion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Tom Kindly. Kiwi. All right. <laughs> the, the Eagle. Majestic. <laughs> That's true. All right. Final one here. This little podcast, Jack's Rangers. Great time. That's what I'm having. Cool. <laughs> that, that's two words. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, um, that's really all I got for you, Anthony. Um, I appreciate your time very much. And uh, I'm noticing you don't have – you've got the whole beard going on. What happened in the mustache? Uh, it's coming. I, you know, I've, I've, I've been working my, my, my big boy job this whole summer. Still am. So uh, I, I got to keep the facial hair in check. But who knows? It'll definitely make a, an appearance. Going to have to get some wax. and uh, There you go. Time. <laughs> Very cool. So we'll leave that door open for a mustache in the future. Um, yeah, this has been this has been a lot of fun, man. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the pitch. And before we get you out of here, one word that we're going to yell into the microphone here. Huzzah. One, two, three. Huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me, man. This is yeah, awesome. This is awesome. Thanks. Bye. You know you do. See ya.